Hello friends. Welcome to the world of cotton. Welcome to Cotton Guru. The core purpose and mission of Cotton Guru is to assist cotton farmers in improving yield and quality of cotton, helping cotton users locate regular sources of quality cotton at nominal prices and to prevent the arbitrary use of paper and plastic objects where cotton can easily be replaced as a renewable resource like use of cotton handkerchief against tissue paper use of cotton bags against plastic and paper bags thereby saving the environment friends avoid plastic avoid paper let's start using more and more of cotton Life is like cotton. Don't make it heavy by dipping in water of sorrow. Make it light by letting it flow in the air of joy. Friends, let us begin the journey of cotton towards excellence. The journey of cotton starts from the seed and ends in market. It includes sowing, that is perini, flowering, that is bahar. Harvesting, that is tordni, packaging and storage, sathavni, kima sanche, and finally marketing, bazar hat, which is the most vital part of this cotton journey and most important for the prosperity of the cotton farmer. It's sowing. It is most important that we give guidance to the cotton farmers based on weather report and market condition. For example, friends, there is fear of El Nino this year, resulting in less rains, especially between June and September. We must arrange interactive meetings of farmers with other farmer groups from Maharashtra and nearby states. Also, meeting with jinners to understand their needs. Cotton Guru has regularly organized such meetings, especially from Murtijapur farmers who met our jinners from Murtijapur and Karanja. Then information about seed and facilitation of advance purchase of seed. And lastly, analysis and action on soil health condition. Health is wealth, my friends. Better the health of the soil, better will be the crop. The next part is flowering, which includes appropriate use of fertilizers and pesticides. Use of hazardous pesticides can lead to lot of damage to soil, human health, and environment. Cotton is grown in less than 5% of world area under agriculture, but it consumes 25% of pesticides. Companies selling these costly pesticides are making millions while the cotton farmer is pushed to poverty and debt. Let us all get together and try and reduce the use of such hazardous pesticides without compromising the yield of cotton and at the same time promoting organic fertilizers so that it is eco-friendly. Flowering also includes precautions in case of diseases and amount of rainfall. India is a rain-dependent country as we all know. Mitranno Khara Vaid Kudala Mantat Khara Vaid Toz Asto Jho Nadi Dharun Roga Sa Nidan Karu Shabto Tumhi Ani Ami Shet Karyan Se Nadi Vaid Panu Shabta It is most important to identify abnormal development in the early stage and deal with it accordingly. Disease, if treated early, is definitely leading to less damage. But if treated late, can lead to heavy damage, which can take away the farmer from sowing that particular crop in the next year. Let us not let that happen to cotton.
כלל, effective water management, जल ही जीवन है, government says, save water, save life, same is true for cotton, more than 75% agriculture in India is dependent on rain, there is very limited irrigation, our famous scientist and past president, Dr. Abdul Kalam has predicted that if we continue to disrespect water and use it as we are using right now, there will be no water in 2070. Also, we all know about Israel. In spite of being a desert, it has achieved and maintained cotton yield of 1800 kg per hectare. We can do the same in India. Harvesting includes assessment of right maturity period which is most important. Like all fruits and vegetables, farmer must be advised to identify the maturity of cotton flower before harvesting. Price of kapas, my friends, is directly related to the maturity of kapas. If the farmer gets mature cotton in the market, more and more genus will be interested to buy it and obviously the farmer will have more choice of buyers which will lead to more profits for the farmers. He can demand his price if the cotton that he brings in the market is fully mature. Next is packing and storage. This is the beginning of value addition of cotton. It is a prerequisite for profitable marketing. After harvesting, there must be no cotton contact with plastic, soil and water. As my friends, no buyer pays for water and trash. So it is always advisable to pack kapas in cotton bag and not in synthetic bags because HDP which is a component of the synthetic bag is very dangerous for the spinning mills and the process houses. They are always complaining that if this is the case they will stop buying from that particular supplier. Also cotton must be stored in a cool and dry place. It is a hygroscopic fiber. It loses and gains moisture very fast. This advice must be passed on to the farmers. Our next step is marketing, which is why I think most of you are interested in our company. Marketing starts with assessment of quality on basis of hand grading. The farmer must be educated to understand and assess the quality of his kapas. Every seller must know about his produce or the product that you're going to sell in the market. Cotton Guru has conducted various seminars and workshops to teach smallholder fibers farmers for hand grading. Gold is sold at 16 carat and 24 carat, but values are vastly different. Similarly, grading of cotton and making heaps of different grade increases the value of cotton. A copy of trust report can add more weightage. Marketing also includes information of rates in nearby mandis and APMC yards. World is moving at a fast pace. Cotton market is more likely go up or go down on daily basis. It is now similar to the share market. One must be aware of the prevailing rates of kapas in at least two to three neighboring mandis. Planning of sales for the entire season must be done in advance. Regular interaction between the farmers, with the agriculture department, scientists, buyers and other farmer groups is very beneficial. The more and more that the farmer shares, the more he understands and the more he learns how to sell his cotton in the market at reasonable profits. Marketing also includes ideas about trends in India and world markets. 
we must come out of the well that we live in our place our village our city our state is not the only place where cotton is bought or sold we must have a fair idea of the global markets updated information about weather and markets is an important tool for marketing it broadens your vision and gives you a leverage over your competitors some year back a small farmer asked me during our farmer training program sir the rate of american dollar is increasing will the kapas market also increase it was a very interesting question and a very logical one we must encourage farmers to be more and more curious and ask more and more questions the last phase of marketing is facilitate negotiation with nearby jinners and consumers based on quality and market trend indian cotton market is worth rupees 70000 crore 30% of this is exported india is on the way to become a world leader but the common complaint of buyers of indian cotton is contamination variation and moisture no buyer pays for water and mud buyer will pay a high price for low contamination low trash cotton and of course mature cotton we must encourage the farmers to produce more and more cotton without dirt without moisture and with less and less variety of seeds for decreasing the variation in cotton this will help them fetch a better price The next chart displays the cotton supply value chain in India. This cotton supply value chain consists of cotton farmer, ginner, spinning mill, weaving looms, processing houses for dyeing and bleaching, garment manufacturers who manufacture shirts, t-shirts, pants, suits, etc., and wholesale and retail shops. for the cotton textile supply chain to be successful and sustainable every link of the chain needs to succeed every link of this chain has to make profits so that it will pass on part of the profit to the link above and below thus all the links of the success of the supply chain will succeed cotton supply value chain all will succeed or none will as i said my farmer friends and my friends in the agriculture department we must all ensure that every link of the success of the supply chain is successful farmers they should grow cotton because they want to or not because they have to farmers need to be informed and educated about the increasing productivity and marketing of cotton to ensure that they achieve the social economical and environmental benefits ginners the biggest challenge for ginners is inconsistent supply of quality kapas from a large number of small holder farmers textile mills face a lot of challenges in domestic and export markets due to lack of quality cotton ginners Another important topic is contract farming. Contract farming system effectively establishes a link between the cotton mill sector which is the consumer and the farming community which is a supplier. Benefits of contract farming are implementation of integrated cotton crop management practices by transfer of technology, use of branded and certified seeds, reduction in use of water and pesticide, better or reasonable price to the farmers. but there is a small bottleneck which is lack of professional execution and established guidelines both the partners to the contract farming must be made aware of their rights and responsibilities if handled meticulously contract farming has the potential to become a very profitable public private partnership now the role of agri agri department is most vital 
it can improve the supply chain management to a lot of extent we must understand the current and future demand for cotton we must be innovative and efficient to implement the seed technology we must reduce the use of water and pesticide without compromising the yield and quality we must effectively use soil health cards promote the growth of extra long staple or els cotton and short staple or surgical cotton on basis of agro climatic research and market survey promote multi dimensional uses of cotton in blends and technical textiles capitalize on the increasing awareness of cotton as an eco friendly fiber the next slide shows cotton production in india as you can see the cotton production has substantially grown from 1950 to 2014 the crop expected this year is not less than 3 lakh 75 375 lakh bales that is 3 crore 75 lakh bales india is the second largest grower consumer and exporter of raw cotton in the world cotton consumption in india is expected to rise to 295 lakh bales in this year and it is expected to reach 450 lakh bales by 2019-20 so there is a good amount of scope for cotton if we continue to focus on high production and high yield the next slide shows cotton consumption in india the consumption has been rising gradually indian mills are consuming more and more of cotton converting into yarn and exporting yarn and garments but production and yield have to be handled very carefully it is no more possible to increase the area under cotton production the only solution is to increase the yield of cotton within the area under agriculture of cotton right now currently yield of cotton in maharashtra is less than half the average of the world cotton yield which is 761 kg per hectare we must focus all our energy in increasing its yield and at least making double in the next 5 years the next slide shows world cotton production this chart displays world cotton production over last 25 years the percentage of india as a cotton grower has increased substantially crop estimate for current season is 375 lakh bales of 170 kg each which is the highest crop ever in india and if we focus on the yield the crop will continue to grow because the world is going to need more and more cotton in the years to come so the world cotton production is or may remain stagnant but production in india if increases has got to be a provide good potential for the indian farmers and indian exporters the next slide is world cotton consumption as you can see from the chart the consumption has been increasing gradually cotton has a lot of competition from polyester so my friends we must again not forget to promote cotton whenever and wherever we get chance cotton consumption chart shows the dominance of china since last 6 7 years india is the second largest consumer and exporter of cotton with an estimated consumption of nearly 295 to 300 lakh bales also india is the only consuming country in the world which is cotton surplus which means that out of the high cotton consuming countries india is the only one which also exports cotton so again i repeat there is lot of potential for cotton so last but not the least 
वन मैन वन पर्सन वन फार्मर वन जीनर वन मेल पर्सन कैन नॉट डू इट बट इट ऑलवेज स्टार्ट विथ वन सो वाई नॉट बी द फर्स्ट वन टूगेदर वी कैन मेक अ डिफरेंस फॉर ऑल द पीपल डायरेक्टली और इनडायरेक्टली एसोसिएटेड विद द कॉटन एंड कॉटन ट्रेड आई कैन ओनली से सीढ़ियों की जरूरत उन्हें है जीने हैं छत पे जाना सीढ़ियों की जरूरत उन्हें है जीने हैं छत पे जाना जिनका आसमान हो निशाना उन्हें रास्ता खुद है बनाना दोस्तों जिनका आसमान हो निशाना उन्हें रास्ता खुद है बनाना हम उस फील्ड में हैं जहां हर वक्त हर पल कोई चैलेंज है और हमें अपना रास्ता खुद ही बनाना है With this, we come to the end of our presentation today. I thank you, my friends, with the bottom of my heart, so that we can all come together and make some difference to the small farmers associated with the cotton trade, and also to the big corporates and brands who are looking up to you, my friends, to provide them guidance how to locate good ginners, good farmers, and good cotton in our area. i hope my small presentation has been significant in making some difference to your point of view we are welcome for any suggestions or any queries please call us or email us at your leisure thank you my friends good day have a nice evening